Eric Eaton, owner of EFS Insurance, is back with us today to talk about a hot topic right now, flood insurance. Good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. Good to be here again. This is literally new information. People are buzzing about this. Hot off the press. Yeah. So Pinellas County, a lot of changes happening, certainly across the state, but in the Bay Area right here, people need to listen up. Absolutely. Um, FEMA just reevaluated all the flood zones. Okay. Pinellas County was one of the first ones to actually put it out there public for everybody to see what the new proposed flood zones are going to be. So in layman's terms, we predict it's going to affect about 70% of the residents in Pinellas County. Um, Is that are more people getting into flood zones that weren't last year or that weren't previously? Yeah, so there's a lot of people that weren't in required flood zones before that will be and people that were maybe in partial flood zones that mm -hmm. are going to be in higher level flood zones. So there's going to be a lot of change. This is going to affect pretty much everybody. Okay. Let's talk about, too, the difference between, I think a lot of people think they're covered with hurricane coverage, hurricane insurance. Yeah, one of the biggest misconceptions we see out there is basically people see that hurricane mm -hmm. coverage on their homeowner's insurance, and they automatically just assume that, oh, I'm covered if a hurricane comes through. Well, that only covers if something happens to your roof or your windows or mm -hmm. that allows the water to come in. What we refer to as rising water, mm -hmm. water that comes from drain pipes, water that just too much rain, mm -hmm. flood surge, all of that is rising water. That's not covered by your homeowners. Mm -hmm. And you need a flood policy to really look into that, uh, to be able to be covered mm -hmm. for that. You had some examples of some previous storms that I know you wanted to bring up too and on where we really saw these numbers and I think it's really going to get people, I don't want to say scare them, but at least just know what they yeah, could we, possibly be. We definitely dealing. don't want to scare people, but we want to make sure that people understand yeah. that this is a, this is a easy way to fix things. Mm -hmm. um, when they had the big storm in Houston, everybody mm -hmm. saw it. Only about 20% was covered by insurance claims. That's a lot of people that lost a lot of money, mm -hmm. maybe life savings due to not having proper flood insurance. And really, if you don't live in a required mm -hmm. flood area, flood insurance is not it's that expensive. You. Yeah. you know, a lot of times it can be a couple hundred bucks a year if you're in a preferred area. In, in Florida in general, let's be honest, mm -hmm. Florida in general is a major flood area, okay? You look at Pinellas County, Pinellas County has some like 587 miles of shoreline, <laughs> okay? And we all know the statistics. Yeah. Everybody has reported on it. If a hurricane were to hit Pinellas County, mm -hmm. it could very easily wipe a large majority of, mm -hmm. of the county off the map. If you don't have flood insurance, whether you're in a required area or not, it's just a little, little off. Let's look at the facts. Yeah. We're in Florida, which mm -hmm. is a peninsula. We're on Pinellas County, which is a peninsula on the peninsula where it's covered in low-lying areas. If you can cover that risk for only a couple hundred bucks a month, why would you not cover it? People just think that it costs too much. Yeah. And so I think that's a big misconception. We're trying to get out there to people that, look, it's, it doesn't have to be expensive. These changes are so new. What is the best thing to make sure that you are on top of it and figuring out what the best plan is for you know someone watching today? Can you see those maps? Can you help people figure that out? Good question. Yes, we do have the maps up on our website okay. at www w.efsinsure.com and it'll be up on the on the TV early okay. later. Um, we do have that available so people can go and look at the maps. They can also call us and being an independent brokerage, mm -hmm. a lot of insurance companies offer a bundled option too, whereas if you do your homeowners with them, you can get a discount wow. on that if you have the flood as well. And a lot of people don't know that because most people just don't yeah. shop their homeowners the way that they should. We've talked about that before. Yeah, so. Well, again, thank you so much for breaking this down. Again, I know this is a hot topic right now. People need to get on top of this before a storm happens, right? This Absolutely. is the time to do that. So we appreciate your time this morning. Again, there's the contact info. Make sure you look at those BAPs. Have any questions, give Eric a call. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.